be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'm coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over some more features of the new Logic Pro 10.8 update. One thing I wanted to talk about today is the drummer. All right, so basically, um, this is what it's gonna look like when you're starting a new track here. You can go with MIDI, a pattern, audio, but you can also use this drummer. Now what this drummer is gonna do is pretty much give you some preset patterns that you can manipulate on the fly. All right, let's just go to like hip hop right quick and then we'll go ahead and push create. So as you can see, this is gonna be the drummer right here. It pretty much has a full beat here. I'm gonna let you hear a little bit of what it sounds like. So this is like a good way to get a drum pattern started if you just don't wanna start from complete uh, scratch. So you can go to some of these presets. Let's check out this south side. And then the best thing about this is you can control like how complex or simple or loud or soft stuff is. You can uh, control how much feels that's in there, the swing, how many cymbals and stuff like that. So let's just ma um, manipulate this a little bit. Make this a little more simpler, add a little more comp uh, percussion, turn those down some, maybe turn that down. Let's see what it sounds like now. All right, dope. So say you, you like that, right? You're like, okay, I like that, but there's some things I wanna change about that. The cool part about the latest update is that I can now convert this to MIDI. That changes the game, but because before, you know, you were just kind of stuck with this pattern. Now I can go over your right click and then convert to MIDI region. Now, what is that gonna do? Now I can come in here and say if I don't like how certain things went, I can, you know, modify it. This is like hi-hats right here, right? So I could do, let me see, come in like that. And modify some of this stuff, you know what I mean? You got to zoom in, hold down the option, zoom in. But you can come in here and just do little stuff to make this your own unique pattern instead of just only going with what they got going here. Um, let me see here if I could just do a little bit more modifications. And then what's that? See, I could take this completely out of the equation if I want to now. I just push Control M, muted that out. Now, this is a dope part about this as well. Now, I could do it a couple of different ways here. I just brought this down and this has all the sounds. I can control the volume and everything on each instrument here. But I can also, so let's say if I want to, um, you know, swap out those sounds, I can go over here and say to the quick sampler and create a couple of different tracks there. Double that by Commission Command D. And now I can take this MIDI pattern, says it's MIDI, and drag it over here and just grab a complete different sound for each of these different parts. So for instance, um, this one right here, 
I'll have to see exactly which one is what. Okay, so like for instance, this right here is a snare, a snare. But so I can come over here and I know that this will be a snare and everything else I can get rid of. So I'll just highlight it, command A, and then just push shift and then click on that one. And now I have my snare here. Now I'm probably gonna have to take this up to at least C3. So if I push shift option and up, I can do that. Take it up an octave and then push option up or down to take it up or down semitones. And now I can come in here and drag my own snare. See what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you just keep, pretty, keep on repeating the process. Um, let's see what else we have in this. So obviously like that hi-hat right there. I can come now over here. Um, and again, this is tedious, but I'm just saying, this is what you can do with that drummer. You can come over here, find a pattern, kind of manipulate a little bit, then come over here and swap out the sounds. Um, same difference, Command A, highlight everything, and turn off that one right there. Now I got my hi-hats, and we can take this up to C3. And then I can swap out the sound here. And then I can really come over here on this pattern and like mute this out too. I can get that clap out of there too now. So I know that clap is on this one. This is the. <clears throat> so you get the point, y'all. Push shift, boom, like that. Take this up. Some of y'all might be asking, why are you pick, taking it to C3? Just because usually, like on the quick sampler, when you drag and drop your sound in, C3 is going to play it at its natural you know, cadence or whatever. I already have sounds loaded in here, but normally what you would do is just drag and drop something over here and then you can save it right here, save as, and then it'll all populate here. I'm gonna grab this clap right there. And then we're gonna mute this clap here. Then we could take take this kick as well. And then again, this is just some some simple stuff we could do. If you want to take it to the next level, because it's MIDI now, you can take these and, and really swap stuff around. I didn't I don't think I had to make that move, but anyway. Come on, not all of them. This this one, push shift, get rid of everything else, take this there, and we'll swap this sound out from a clap to a kick, and then really I got the, the majority part of the pattern right here. So, I mean, really, this is a great way to get like quick drum patterns going. Just use that drum, the drummer feature, find your genre, mess around with things, you know, bring it in and then you can just, you know, right click it and uh, you can convert it to MIDI and from there, move stuff around if you want, change out the instruments. Possibilities are endless, man. 
Make sure you keep on getting subscribed to this channel, man, because we're coming back to back with bangers. Also, check out my website, beatmakingbasics.com. We got courses there you can get, um, sound, ca sound kits, and a whole lot of other stuff. I have a, a bundle pack that you can get every single thing on the uh, site as well. Grab all that, and I'll see you in the next video.